let's go ahead and take a look at what we want to try to do with the trend box. Let's go to crude oil. So these trend boxes are designed to obviously keep you on the right side of the market. The beautiful thing about them is, is the width of the box when it closes. The width of the box indicates consolidation or if the market's trying to go vertical. So when you see big white boxes like this, let me get a bigger arrow so we know what we're talking about. When you see big consolidation bars, I mean boxes like this on the trend box, it tells you we're in a range or chop market. So what we want to do then, if we see a big white box, we want to wait until we get less than four candles that close inside of a closed box, which will indicate the market is trying to pick up speed. Speed is where you can get in nice retracements. You need speed for retracements in any market you trade. All futures, all stocks, all Forex, all currency, ETFs, it doesn't matter what type of market it is. If you don't have speed in the market, it's not going to be a tradable market. It's going to be range or flat and you're going to get chopped up. So once you see a, a sideways market that closes, this is a lot of candles inside, still here, more than four candles, this starts the whole trend right here. Right there, that was a one candle close inside of a trend box. This is the lowest candle you're going to find. find. Obviously, zero won't print, so one is the lowest candle you're going to find that is going to show optimal speed in the market. Now, this is a large time frame. I'm going to show you how it works on small, too. Here's a nine Simrenko. So the nine Simrenko, there's a one candle that printed right there. There's your entry. So once speed came in, you have a couple choices. You can take the first retracement, full retracement when it gets above 90%. Look for the first negative market delta right there for entry. Stop two ticks above the swing high. My point is, is that you want to get in these markets when there is speed involved into the market. Now, there's one candle is obviously the best speed bar you're going to get. No more than four is what I like to see. So if I look at today or yesterday, we came into the session when I got on the microphone and I said we're in a consolidation phase, right? So we're in a consolidation phase. How can we trade this market? When can we anticipate this market breaking or getting involved in the market? What's the most optimal time for us to position ourselves? So we were right here at the time in the morning, wide bars, more than four bars. All of a sudden, we had one, two, three, four bars that printed right there. That told us we have speed possibly coming in the market on a break. Once you see that, you want to start selling retracements. That caught the first high at the swing high, negative market delta. Right after a big speed bar, speed bar of two bars. This one also was a one bar on a larger time frame. One bar, look at that market slide. That market slid hard, 59.10 all the way down for $400 potential trade straight down. Then the market after 10.30, we know it likes to counter trend trade itself back up. We had two big consolidation bars, more than four bars inside this trend box. And then sure enough, we get the speed bar comes in, two bars, and she cranks up all the way into the close. Now what are we looking at today? Are we consolidation or speed right now in crude? We are what? We are consolidating. Look at this since midnight. We're in a wide bar. I mean a wide trend box. Wide trend box indicates we're in chop. What do you want to do? We want to sit and wait. Right when you see, let me show you how work on, you work on smaller time frames. Right when you see a one bar, one candle, I'm sorry, close inside the trend box or, or two candles, what have you, Look at your smaller time frames. Yesterday, it really picked the market apart. When we saw that happen, look what happened on the smaller time frames. Smaller time frames had one bar here, one bar here, and look at the slide in the market. Two bars started it. Here's consolidation bar. So it works on smaller time frames too. This is a three Simrenko. This is the smallest time frame that I like to look at on any market. So there's your consolidation over four bars. This starts the whole move right there in crude oil. And this is like this is with every market. First retracement after speed is usually the best, which caught the swing high. There you go. Then we had a one bar, a one candle close inside the trend box here. 
first retracement is typically the best. And it caught the swing high right there again in for the big push into the close. So one bar, uh, one candle inside of the trend box likes to start these trend moves. One or two candles. That really starts the trend move. If you see more than one candle inside of the, of the, of the trend box, it indicates we are in a consolidation move. So what we'll do is we'll look for this larger time frame to get what? This morning, we'll look for it to get speed. And a speed meaning less than four candles inside of the trend box, which would be like this yesterday. And once you have big days like this, I mean, once you see this, big consolidation bars, you have to love big consolidation bars like this. Right, big consolidation. This is what you want to do or look for all in 2020. Big consolidation and then find a speed bar that is less than four candles. I love one and two candles is my favorite. Starting a trend. And that should start off the slide. It doesn't matter. It works like this every single day in any market. Here we go again. Big consolidation bar. There's your speed bar. One candle. This is the day before. Look at the big slide. It's not hard. You can do this and look at it every single day. It's the same situation. Big consolidation bar, two candles. There's your big slide. All right. So, you know, and it, it doesn't matter. You can put this on the S&P 500 too. It, it really doesn't matter what time frame, I mean, what market you look at. It's a concept. NASDAQ futures, Dow minis, Russell 2000, mini Russells. It doesn't matter what market you're looking at. You're, you're doing the same concept. So if I'm trading, if I'm a trade trader in the S&P 500, then let's, let's look at a big up and big down day. You can see the trend box been up, but you can see the big consolidation on the S&P, big consolidation bar, and look, it goes right into a speed bar. Big consolidation, right into a speed bar. Big consolidation, more than four candles, prints inside of it. Right into the speed bar. On the upside, same way. Big consolidation. Speed bar calls a low right there, and she takes off. Big consolidation, speed bar. Big consolidation, speed bar. Big consolidation, speed bar. Big consolidation, speed bar. Big consolidation, speed bar, and we're still moving up right there. Okay, so it doesn't matter. That's the same concept because if I if I blow this up and I look at the S and P. On the upside and downside, it's still the same thing. It's less than four bars, four candles. You'll see one candles on the S&P too. Look at that one candle. They're saying, "Hey, we're really marking the market down right there," and it slid. It went from 32.15 all the way down to 31.80 when that one candle printed inside. Another one candle printed inside here. Two back to back on the S&P, and this is the nine Simrinko. Right. So you see these big trends based upon using the trend box indicating speed.